Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Tim's Cotswold Farm. So today is a very special episode because so many people have been asking me, what were the results of your Claydon drilling? So in today's episode, we're going to be talking exclusively about the Claydon drilled barley, how it yielded, its crop health, and whether it was cheaper. If you don't know what I'm on about, you have no clue what a Claydon is, pause the video. I'll put a link up above, watch that one first, and then come back because I promise you do not want to miss the results that we're going to be sharing. So we looked at a couple of things. Cost is an obvious one. So we've gone from instead of cultivating two three meter passes, deep cultivation, then six meter time drill, this was simply drilled with one pass of a three meter Claydon. So naturally it's going to be cheaper. So when we look at the land health, aside the obvious that we were trying to reduce the amount of capping that we had going on by just strip tilling the areas that we actually wanted drilled, there was also the land coverage. So we've got areas of this farm which, for whatever reason, we haven't been able to establish crops into in the past. Like this, where often this would never grow. So you see the Claydon has been able to establish crops into this corner, which traditionally it'd be very rutty, it was very wet, the clay would hold all the moisture and then when it did fail the rain would then come and it would wash all the soil and cause soil erosion all the way down into this bank which was the key reason why we planted grass but there's also other locations like this which traditionally is always barren and what happens is there are big thistles and stingers which tend to grow up they're agitated by the cultivation and they seem to get ahead far quicker than the corn so this as i say this whole area here is usually just barren now as you can see it looks just as good as the rest of the field now. So what this is proving is that it's able to establish in areas which traditionally our other systems wouldn't have been able to establish in. So when we talk about yield in a minute, we can get more yield because we can have more coverage of our farm. I'm actually really impressed with this. And that brings us to the crops. So the difference in crop health became apparent very early on. So I shared some pictures about eight weeks after we drilled the crops to show that the Claydon plants were taller, they were thicker, they were greener, and they just appeared to be visually far healthier. Their roots had also gone down and harnessed more moisture as well. So we've dug up a few samples and this is what we found out. So this is the root structure from the Claydon drill. Very thick, very dense. Obviously the roots have had a good opportunity to tap down. And there's also a high volume of roots that have been able to tap down. This is the tine drill. Now what we've noticed is there's a nest of roots here and they haven't been able to push through this dense layer. And that's because once the subdisc had done its work, the ground had settled again and the tine drill did not move enough material, didn't create a nice seabed for the seeds to then go into. So you had this hard capped layer underneath. And the same is true really all across the crops. So we ended up with this quite thick, dense wedge. Now there are some roots that have been able to tap through it, but the large majority, when you compare this sort of structure to that, there's obviously quite a drastic difference. And dad noticed that when he was digging these up as well. It would appear the roots and hit this hard area and they haven't penetrated into the soil like the ones with the clay and where the leading time has created that fracture for the roots to get down into. Because of the, and I hate the word, friable soil, loose soil around the seed of the Claydon, it allowed us to get a far cleaner sample. We also noticed there was a lot more moisture in the ground with the Claydon drill than there was around here. Where both of these crops had seed failings, the Claydon would put a seed down in the ground and it failed because as it tried to emerge, it was stuck on a capped piece of heavy soil like this. Whereas this failed for the other reason, the seed was placed, but actually it couldn't break through this heavy capped layer. Now, in reality, this is more the ground's fault than either of the drill's fault, but the Claydon is the resolution. The Claydon is the drill that's going to improve our crop health, reduce capping like this for the future, and actually give us better crops overall. So when we were looking at the crops themselves, there are a couple of different things I wanted to explore. Firstly, I wanted to see how many seeds were on each head. Now, really interestingly, the average across the Claydon's drilling was 26 seeds per head. In comparison, the time drill sadly only had 19 seeds. Now, the Claydon spread was from 22 all the way up to 30 seeds a head, whereas the time drill was down in the 14s and only ever reached a maximum of 22 seeds. So if you look at that across our fields, that's a 31% increase in the number of seeds on the Claydon drilled heads. Now, that's all very well, but it could be that there's more seeds, but there's less weight to them. Well, actually, that wasn't the case either. The Claydon drilled heads, the seeds, were 16.54 milligrams each, whereas the time drill had 14.7 milligrams of heads. And so the third part of the analysis is quality. Now, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see that yet because we've sent the samples away for testing. As soon as they come back, the next video that I'm doing in that week when they arrive, I'm going to share with you the results and I'll also try and update this. So I hope that was interesting. You know, by no means do we work for Claydon. We don't represent them. We've got no interest there. We've looked and followed the Claydon's drilling 
throughout the seasons. And now that we've harvested them, we've had a great opportunity to be able to review them. So when I've looked at all of this, it's established in more ground. There's more heads. It's thicker coverage. The seeds weigh more. And I'm hoping at the same time, the seeds themselves are actually better quality as well. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that analysis. As I say, it's mostly a bit of fun. We were looking to buy it. So I thought as I'm doing my YouTube channel for the first time this year, why not just combine the two and show the results? So next week, things are going to be a bit different. We've got two new pieces of equipment onto the farm. We've got our new stubble rake, which isn't a rake. And we've also got our Sveeverk and auto steer system. So combining the two, I'm going to field test the auto steer system for its accuracy. And we're also going to be testing our stubble rates. So next week is all about technology and new machinery. So I hope you can join me. Thanks again. And I'll see you next week. Bye.